please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This Hello. is a case of Diaz versus Mendoza. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Diaz. Yes, Your Honor. You have petitioned the court for the results of a DNA test, but you claim your adoptive mother, Ms. Mendoza, is trying to stop you from discovering the truth. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Mrs. Mendoza, you state you doubt whether your adopted daughter has actually found her biological family. Uh, you say you fear today's results will just leave her heartbroken. Correct, Your Honor. So, Ms. Diaz, if it upsets your mother this much, explain why it's important. Your Honor, it's important because all my life, I never fit in. And I always felt like the outcast simply because the neighborhood we grew up in was predominantly Mexican. They picked on me for my skin color, the texture of my hair, and not only that, I had a stepbrother who would pick on me all the time. And uh, he pointed out to me one day that I was adopted. So I went and I asked my mom, Mrs. Mendoza, if it was true. She said that it was. I mean, it was a big blow to take, and I always had answers, always felt incomplete. So you adopted her when she was young? Correct. Yes, Your Honor. And in your mind, you saved her life? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Please explain. When I was 20 years old, <clears throat> I was told that I was not ever going to have children. The opportunity arose for me to be able to raise a child. One of my ex-husband's best friends came and told us that he had gotten his mistress uh, pregnant. And she didn't want, he didn't want anything to do with the child and neither did the, her biological mother. So I met with her biological mother. She came to live with us. We came to the agreement that I was to raise this child. I was going to uh, love her unconditional. She was my, going to be my child. And it's just, <sighs> it's heartbreaking, Your Honor, because I've done everything that I have for Leah Selda. I doubt that her mother even knows who her biological father is. I've been through this with her plenty of times. Her mother had an a extramarital affair, and I don't believe Carl Honeycutt Sr. is the father because at the same time, I also heard that she had slept with several other men. I know you took her back at, to meet her biological mother at some yes, point. How did that come to be? When, when Leah Selda was about to turn 15, I had come to her and approached her and told her that it was time to start making preparations for her quinceanera, which is like a coming out party from transitioning from a, a child know. to a, yes. a woman. Well, I was devastated when she told me that she didn't want a quinceanera, that what she wanted for her 15th birthday was to meet her biological mother. Your Honor, I mean, I've looked at it from both sides, but more so mine because my mother obviously knows her parents. I never got that chance, and that's all I've ever wanted. I've always wanted to feel that bond. I feel a, a bond with her because she's always been there for me. But I also have the right to know who my real family is as well. You know? That's all I want. Yes. I'm not trying to hurt her in any way. I have to acknowledge two things at this point. First, that you most certainly have the right to know. And then I must acknowledge that Ms. Mendoza, you, your husband, your family, you have been such a beautiful gift to Ms. Diaz. And that should never be underestimated. They were your parents. Right. And they are your parents. Yes, they are. Now, after meeting your biological mother, you went on to search for your biological father. Um, back in 2001, I put an ad out searching for my biological father. Um, I didn't get a response right away until July of 2013. And the one who replied was Carnell Honeycutt Jr. And he told me that um, he felt like we were related, that we may share the same father. Now, did you talk to your mother, Mrs. Mendoza, about this? 
Definitely. I mean, I called her right away. And what was your response, ma'am? How did you feel about... I'm happy in a way that she's, she's always wanted to know who her father was. And I don't want to deny her that. My fear, Your Honor, is that once she does find out that this call, uh, Carnell Honeycutt Sr. is her father, that she's just going to push me aside. I've been there for her. I've done everything for her. I don't know what else she wants from me. I've sacrificed everything for her. But Ms. Mendoza, you have to understand that finding out who her biological father is in no way supersedes or replaces all the love and support and shelter and the life you gave her. Is there a part of you that wants to shield your daughter from disappointment if this doesn't turn out the way yes, your she Honor. wants it to? Yes. In my mind, I know this is the right thing for her to do, to, and it's instinctive for her to know her, her roots. But my heart just can't open up and let her live through that disappointment again. I appreciate everything that you've ever done for me. Don't get that wrong. It's just, it's hard to explain to strangers that you're my mom. And with them going along and saying, oh, well, you don't look like her, or you don't look like your brothers or your sisters, it's hard. But Lisa, the blood doesn't make you family. I know it doesn't, but I still have the right to know. I still have the right to know. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Since you started corresponding with your potential biological brother, do you feel a connection? Is there... Yes, Your Honor, there is a connection. I mean, it's something I've always wanted to feel, you know, with someone that I favor, you know, it's, it's a good you feeling. You think you look alike? I, I feel that we do. And every time we talk, I mean, But it's... you've never met in person? No, just pictures. Jerome, I think it's time that we meet Mr. Honeycutt. Please escort him into the courtroom. We're gonna go up to the witness stand next to the judge. Hello, sir. Hello. Thank you for joining us today. No problem. So we are here discussing the paternity of Ms. Diaz and her search to find her paternal family. How did you connect with her? You saw her ad. I was talking to my dad, and um, I was asking him, you know, if he would ever have any more kids. And he was like, no, no, man. I, honestly, I possibly have another child out there. I was like, oh, really? He was like, yeah, uh, you know, this girl I used to date way back, you know, she gave this baby up for adoption and never got to, you know, see it because he didn't know if it was a girl or boy. And so um, he gave me the name of the woman. And so I looked her up and I saw an Ancestry.com ad and it said, looking for my father. And I saw Leah Selda as a name. I got the name and found her on Facebook. Really? Yep. So you having a father-son talk yeah. with your dad and threw that question out there and he tells you that you may have a sibling. A sibling out so there. So he did indicate that this child would be of Mexican heritage. Mm -hmm. You were looking for her as she was looking for you all. Yeah, and um, the Ancestry.com message was way back in 2000 or 2001. So it really? was that long ago, yeah. And then you looked her name up on Facebook. Yep. You get her to respond. You see this message? Actually, from... it was a phone call. My uncle had called her because I was too nervous to call her. You know, I didn't know how to approach, you know. And then, you know, I kind of reached out through text message, so. And your father is currently incarcerated, am I correct? Yeah. Did you tell him this was going on that you'd reached yeah. out? I told him and he was, um, he was like, he was excited, but he was really uh, upset, disappointed at, you know, the, in the woman that he was with at the time. He was really mad because he was like, you know, I would have known this, you know, I would have taken care of my own child. So as you both begin to compare family histories, what have you, you felt like you had found each other, that this man was in fact both of your father. Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. 
Now, Ms. Diaz, when you got this message and they called you, what were you thinking? Honestly, at first I thought it was a scam. And then the more questions that they started to ask, you know, I felt, well, mainly, maybe this is this What kind is of it. questions were they asking? They just asked if I knew anything about my biological father. Um, and what did you say? I said, I really don't know much. I mean, I thought one person was, and it turned out that that wasn't the person. And then when he threw the name out there, I said, well, now that I think about it, I did hear that name, but I never thought to look for him. Okay. Ms. Mendoza, did she tell you that Mr. Honeycutt and his family had reached out to her? Yes, ma'am, she did. When she threw out these names, did you, in your mind, remember anything from the past that this could potentially be the guy? No, ma'am, because the biological mother refused to give me any information on who the, the father could have been. Mr. Honeycutt, what did your father say? Um, I have a message. I have a letter, actually. I'm he wrote a letter? I'm read a little piece of it. Um, it says, Dearest daughter, I'm happy that you almost have closure to the unanswered questions you wanted for so long. The photos I received of you clearly shows that you have the Honeycutt genes. In my heart, I always knew I had a child out there, but could not prove it. I don't need a DNA test to know. You're my daughter, and I just know it. I, I, you know, I really believe, you know, she looks like a lot of uh, family members of mine. And I actually, I don't have the picture on me, but I have a picture that looks, you know, just like her when I was a child, so. When you were small? Yeah, when I was small. You feel like you resemble? Yeah, we resemble. Ms. Diaz, you are emotional. I understand. This is so very emotional for you. Can you put into words what you're feeling? <laughs> I mean, if, if the test comes out positive, I'm going to be happy. I mean, it's been a long 30 years not knowing. And I feel bad at times because I don't, I don't want to hurt anybody doing this. It's just I have to know. I have to know so I can move on. And I have to know so I can put this behind me. And you do understand your mother's fear for you, that yeah. she's scared for you. She's scared if it doesn't work out the way you want, how will you handle it? Because you said, I've been through this before and it didn't turn out to be the person I want it to be. It didn't turn out to be my father. Right. I'm going to stop. I can't continue to hurt her or myself. Yeah. I mean, it's too much. Ms. Mendoza, you brought your husband to court. Can you please stand, sir? Yes. Mr. Mendoza, thank you so much for coming. What are your thoughts on this situation, sir? Well, it kind of makes me angry because uh, we've, been, uh, we've been there for, uh, her, her, for her all this time, and especially it upsets my wife. I just wanted to quit because every time she does that, it hurts my wife a lot. And not only that, it hurts the other kids that we got. And every time it doesn't come out the way she wanted, it hurts her too. I just want this to stop because it makes my wife upset. And it, it hurts me and it hurts the whole family. And I do understand your position. However, you also understand the fact that this is something that eats away at your daughter, something that she yeah. thinks about day in and day out. Yeah. And this is an issue yeah. that she alone in your family has to deal with. And sometimes, I think as parents, we forget that we work hard all of our lives to raise our children to be beautiful, smart, intelligent people. We then can't yep. fault them yeah. when they want the answers to the yeah. difficult questions yeah. and they're not afraid to seek those answers. And it has nothing to do with their love for us, her love for you, but everything to do with the love she has for herself, and you have instilled that in her. So that is a testament to you all. I think at this point, we all are ready to learn the results. You agree? <laughs> Jerome, the envelope, please. Here you go, Jerome. Thank you.
based on the DNA results to establish whether Leaselda Diaz and Carnell Honeycutt are related as siblings. The probability of siblingship is 0.6%, which means they do not share biological parents and are not siblings. This is exactly what I was scared of, Your Honor. Been through this with her many times. She just needs to stop. She's with the family that loves her. We'll always be there for her. I don't know what else to do. Ms. Diaz? I'm done. I have my parents right there. Always be here for her, always. I've been there from day one. I will be there until I die. She's my daughter. She's my firstborn. Blood doesn't make you family. Well, as I said before, you raised her to be a beautiful, intelligent, strong young woman. And I personally commend you, Ms. Diaz, for being strong enough to continue this search despite the disappointment. And if you ever are in need of this courtroom, again, we will be here for you. Thank you. And until <clears throat> that time, I hope you do love and appreciate these two beautiful people who love you so very much. I wish you the best of luck. Court is adjourned. My heart just isn't ready for this disappointment again, Bill. This is what I was trying to shield you from all these years. I'm sorry that I put my family through this, but I just had to know. I love you too, baby.